Uh, okay, hi everybody, and welcome to another episode of Brebescast, kind of. Um, uh, I'm your host, Brebescus, and with me today is z You ever have those days where you just feel two years younger? Because I'm really feeling that right now for some reason. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, okay, so this cast, we don't have David today, just saying. Um, no. Uh... This cast and the next cast are going to be interesting. Um, yes. Because uh, we're doing catch-up episodes. Um, yep. The the long-awaited sequels to the catch-up episode. Everyone wanted, totally, anyway. Everyone wanted, and both <laughs> of us definitely wanted to do. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I wanted to talk about these episodes, but, you know, just uh, life <laughs> happened, and we just never got to talk about them. Uh, so. But, yeah. Uh, but instead of just simply going... With just naming the episode and then talking about it, I decided instead, how about we do a sort of countdown? Um, yep. Because uh, we did it before. Um, yep. uh, why not do it again? Um, I wasn't here for it, but I saw it. No, you weren't. Um, no. uh, long, I've, long time I've, ago. I've been thinking about doing it for season four, but I don't think we need to. Um, yeah. I, mean, already, I mean, the only one that we haven't talked about yet is Balrog TJ and. I don't think like okay. doing an entire list just to talk about that would be necessary. Yeah, okay. It's TLDR that fights awesome. Anyways. Yeah, um, I agree. <laughs> um, so what I did is I asked Z-Dog to, to give me his ranking for... We're, we're going to be talking about Season 5 today. Um, yep. Uh, and then uh, tomorrow when we're recording this, um, we're, uh, obviously I don't think these two are going to come out one day after the other, but, uh, I'm not, um, uh, we're actually recording this the week before Miles vs. Static comes out, um, yeah, so, which um, means the Miles yeah. preview is coming out tomorrow, no, the Miles preview is out on first, but for first members right now, uh, oh, oh, right, it's Sunday, right, I, um, I, whoops, <laughs> I forgot um, about that, <laughs> um, it's, I've watched it, you're not missing much, honestly, um, understandable, uh, I'm still probably I'm still probably gonna watch it. Whenever. Yeah, probably. Um, so, so, um, so I took his ranking and I took mine, um, and I gave I gave each episode points um, um, based on the ranking. And the lowest amount the, the episodes with the lower amount of points are higher on the list. So, uh, so for example, say one of the episodes is number one, that means it gets one point, oh. and. If the episode's number if the episode's number sixteen, it gets sixteen points. Um, um, and I ranked it based on that. Um, uh, we yeah. do have both lists, but we're gonna be talking about season five today. So. Yep. Um, Should be very interesting. I'm actually really sad that we never got to talk about a lot of these episodes because a lot of them were actually really good. Yeah, this so. season this season rocked. Um, Indeed. Um, but yeah, uh, so this one's going to require a lot of editing from your boy, uh, <laughs> um, cause I'm going to be doing this in probably the same format I did before. Um, okay. Um, All right. so let's just get started. Um, um, also this, I have, I wrote the list down on notes and it's going to be a little confusing for me because, um, we had, a, we had quite a few ties. Um, and they don't, and notes doesn't count for that. Um, so, uh, um, so I'm going to try to make sure I don't screw things up here. Um, hopefully if not, you can fix it in editing. Excuse me. Yeah. Um, so we'll start off with number 16. That was odd. Oh, yep. We kind of called this one being last place. Uh. <laughs> yeah, we we both put this one up. I'll put I'll put both of our lists uh, at the end in text. Um, All right, good. I was hoping to do that. Um, but uh, yeah, both of 
just to spoil a bit, but uh, this one got 32 points. So this one is at the very bottom of both of our lists. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, like, I feel, it, when I rewatched it um, for the for the list, because I decided to rewatch every episode of, of the season just so my, my, my thoughts are fresh enough in my mind, when I, like, rewatched this episode, like, it wasn't bad. Like, I, like, it's not bad, it's just, meh. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's... that's why that's and with the season with so many great episodes like season five, that's why and like compared it to um, every other episode, like I couldn't help but just put this at the bottom. Although I will say, um, well, depending on what the next entry is, which I'm pretty sure I already know. Um, honestly, this and the the next step entry, I was considering swapping around, but honestly, I just feel like the animation in this one. Um, just put it that a little bit lower than yeah it's than, funny uh, because um like the animation itself isn't awful um yeah it's just um look one i think the raven sprite kills it a lot um, yeah, yeah. i don't know I, I didn't find a problem with it um, i don't know to me to me it just felt like it was too short yeah there's that Honestly. and also um uh I, I understand this is it's MLP, but uh, uh, this animation was also very one-sided. Um, yeah. Twilight, Twilight landed one hit, and that was a train mutation. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, um, also, I, 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 I mentioned this before um, when we talked about this, um, and so you know my thoughts on the ending, they haven't changed. Um, uh, I still think the I still think the ending is very lame, and I think the reason why it was as lame as it was makes it even worse. Um, yeah. Um, I just think it's dumb because like Ben made it. Cause ben uh, said like they, they don't want some four-year-old uh, stumbling upon the episode of Steam Twilight get mutilated. And I'm just like if 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 a kid. If, if some four-year-old is traveling the internet, they probably shouldn't be. <laughs> yeah, they, they probably shouldn't be traveling in the first place. Yeah, they probably shouldn't. If you're worried about some four... Okay, and also, if you're worried about some four-year-old watching the show, then why? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, like, there have been, like, worse deaths um, before and after this one. Um, involving characters that are also meant for kids. Um, like, well, I, don't know, I always I feel like I brought this up when we talked about it originally. Um, when I um, the biggest example was the first time I saw Mario versus Sonic. I was horrified that um, of seeing Mario die, but like it wasn't that bad. Mm -hmm. I knew it was fictional. Yeah. So I don't understand why they made such a big deal out of it, but whatever. Yeah, and I'm not saying the death had to be like freaking. Shredder versus Silver Samurai levels are brutal, but yeah, it just um, I just needed to see like a body at least. Um, yeah, I I needed to be sure I like when when the fight's over, I need to be I need to know that Twilight I need to know that the, a character has died before the KO. Um, yeah, and I didn't I did not think that uh, I did not think Raven had won until the KO screen showed up. Yeah. So that's a that's a bummer. And, yeah. yeah. Oh well. Um. Yeah. Not much else to say about this one, honestly. Um, yeah. I don't know. I mean, like I, I was still saying by this not being awful. Like it, it's it's a, it's a meh at most, but yeah. Yeah. I'd say it's the best pony fight, but then again, that's not saying much. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh. All right. Uh. Moving on to number 15. Try again! Did you think you were safe? The strong shall hunt the weak. That is the law of nature! And my rule is law! Yep, I also call this one being at, the, at near the bottom. Uh, these first two just... <laughs> yeah. We're not 
I don't know, this season didn't start off that strong. No, it didn't, honestly. Um, but, nah. Uh, it's interesting how, like, I mean, granted, you could argue it, it doesn't matter how you start, it's how you finish. Um, exactly. But, I still wish it kind of started on a high note. Um, yeah. And, and I mean, to be fair, season six didn't start off on the best note either. Um, no, but... Uh, but, um... Yeah, uh, honestly, I, we both put this one at number 15, by the way, so we got 30 points. Um, uh, I should, I'm, I need to remember to actually say how many points these episodes got. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> um, this one is salvaged. Yep, keep uh, going. This one is salvaged by its choreography, which I actually find, which I actually found kind of interesting. Um, the voice clips, which matched very well, um, <laughs> uh, and the music, which I feel is very underrated. Um, Honestly, if the fight animation and music were weren't half as good, it probably I probably would have put this um, below Raven Twilight because honestly, like the animation like saved this episode a lot. It's so. Uh, I'm not. Sh- I'm not sure. Um, the my thing is that uh, like uh, I like the. I don't mind the animation, but I do wish it was better. Um, eh, I don't know. I like. Uh, it. I, th- I thought the animation was perfectly fine, but I mean. I mean, you can tell like there are a few points where it does kind of slow down. Um, yeah. Um, and I don't know. Um, also, I feel. Also, I saw. I'm seeing people say that. Uh, they wish that the animals didn't get involved. I beg to differ because I think the fight would have been kind of boring if it wasn't. Yeah. Um. Um. But yeah. Um. Which I mean, that, that also does kind of hurt the episode. Um, that for the most part, it, like, it's well made. It's just not super entertaining. Um, yeah. Um. Um, but, yeah, uh, there's really not a lot to say about this one, honestly. Um, no, if, it, if like, I still stand by saying if the animation weren't as good, I still would have put this below, but, but that's really because, like, the, the, like, actual research, like, the analysis sections, they were so boring. Yeah. Uh, and I, like, especially, like, I think, I think we brought this up when we talked about it the first time, but, um, uh, like, just the, the, like, it just was so bland and like Batman's were like so like it was basically just um a re- well yeah of course it's of course it makes sense it's the third time but it just felt like the same thing over and over again from Bat's other two fights mm-hmm. which made it all the worse yeah so um, uh like there was there was a lot of points during the analysis where I was just thinking, okay, we know he's no, we know Batman's not gonna win. Get it over with. Um, <laughs> um but yeah, uh, it's funny because I think uh, I think Raven Twilight has better overall animation, but I think the sprites in this one work better and the music's better. Um, eh, yeah, um, I can kind of see that. I don't know, I. I still prefer this animation overall, but. Hmm. Um. All right. Uh, moving on. Uh, all right. Uh, moving on our... to old stuff to new stuff. What do you fir- know? We have our first tie. Uh, oh, our first tie as well. Um. These two are tied for. Uh, okay. <laughs> this is exactly <laughs> what I mean. Um. Uh. Hold on, give me a second. I'll probably cut this out of the video. Um, All right. <laughs> um, I want to say these two are tied for number fourteen. I don't know. Um, <laughs> we'll just go with it. Sure. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, first up, we have. Tokyo Tomeda. Oh. Hmm. Wow, 
wow, the first three fights are right in a row. What do you know? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, both this one and the next one got 26 points. Um, uh, okay. Um, hmm. How much... Uh, do you, huh? How many dislikes do you think we're going to get for putting this one so low? Well? Uh, uh, I don't know, like a few. <laughs> <laughs> um, Whatever. Okay. Um, big things to note. Um, okay, first off, this music is phenomenal. Oh, yeah. Uh, and the actual fight choreography isn't awful. Um, uh, I do think it being a little one-sided in JoJo's favor is a little... Eh, but I mean, I guess you can't eh. really do a whole lot about that. A little bit. It was mainly during the first part, though. Like during like the second part, when you can actually see Star, I felt it picked up a little more. Yeah. In Tetra's favor. So. I mean, I, I, I guess the, I guess it doesn't help that Tetra's whole shtick is. Uh, one, t one touch, you die. Yeah. Um, um, I also think the Japanese voice cuts are a nice touch. But granted, I don't think we should ever have them again, but uh, mm. uh, it works in this case because it, it appeals to it appeals to the needs. Um, <laughs> um, but uh, because these two are very Mimi characters, um, um, it's funny because they don't act like Mimi characters at all. So they're not, it's not like Deadpool, but. Uh, um, it just both shows are naturally full of memes, so you, yeah, um, they got to embrace it in this episode. Yeah, that said, though, if these two franchises ever come back, which JoJo obviously is going to be at some point, um, yeah. uh, I hope they just stick to usual like, voice actors and such. Um, yeah. Uh, it works in this case, but not in other cases. So, like, if the yeah. over Zala card happens in Japanese voice clips, that's going to be upsetting. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, um, uh, I think the issue here, uh, for one, uh, uh, Andron is really not that great. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's... I mean, I kind I mean, well, yeah. The only, like, one I think was pretty good was the one where, like, Jojo tips his hat and it shows his eye. That's the only one I considered good, but, like, they weren't, I still I don't that think... that one into a meme. Uh... <laughs> I still don't think it was, like that bad honestly mm. but. um i don't know it's, uh uh jotaro and joseph just look dumb to me and kenshiro barely even looks like kenshiro but whatever yeah. i mean he looks he looks more like kenshiro than he does in his freaking dvx but whatever <laughs> um, i mean i think anything looks more like kenshiro than his in his dvx so yeah i think i think me in real <laughs> life looks more like, looks like i think i look more like kenshiro in real life than yeah. kenshiro does in his dvx yeah um, <laughs> Uh, anyways, um, uh, and even when there's not hand-drawn, the actual sprite work, why are the sprites so blurry? Um, uh, yeah, that one's a bit odd to me, but, I don't like, know. If you've, if you've seen other animations with these sprites, even the woman in L.A. did this better. Uh, it's just... I don't know. The, these sprites are very well done, but, uh, but then here it's just, I mean, they're not, like, super distracting, I guess, but, um, but it's still, it, it is distracting. I, I don't know what the deal with that was. Uh. Um, um, and also, I think the analysis here is really weird. Um, like, I, I agree with the results, but, um, but then, but they had stuff like, they gave, uh, with, they had Jotaro's, uh, diamond punch feet at, a. Uh, like three megatons or something, and then uh, Kenshiro's building thing at like a, thou a thousand tons. It's like apparently that's better than <laughs> apparently a thousand tons is better than three than three million tons. But okay, whatever. Yeah, that's um, a bit odd, but um, couple that with you know the fact that Jotaro is faster um, and has the time stuff on top of it. Like I, I like I said, I agree with the results. I agree that Kenshiro wins. I just don't know how they got to that. Conclusion yeah. the research they did. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'd say this, I, uh, as this list obviously tells, I'd say this is the best, uh, the best bite out of the, out of the first three episodes. Um, 
I still wouldn't say it's that great, but yeah, but it's it's decent, I guess. Yeah, um, it's a decent as best man most. Yeah. Although I'm uh, curious, but where where exactly did you have this place on your list? Uh, I think literally in this spot. Um, oh, okay, that explains a lot because I had it at number uh, twelve, so two spots above this one. Yeah. Um, Interesting. All right. Now to talk about what it's tied with. All right. Are we finally getting into new stuff? Whoa! Sora? Ah, oh, okay. So it is new, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so the first, so literally the ba- um, the battle after um, this podcast died. Um, yeah. So yeah. Well, this is interesting. So I okay. put this. I put this at number fourteen. So this, where'd you put it? Um. I put this at number twelve. Really. So I guess that explains why these two are tied. Oh, okay, yeah, that explains a lot. Um, um, but, uh, yeah, um, admittedly at first, like, when I first watched it, I actually really liked it. Um, um, like, I thought it was really well done. I mean, I guess it doesn't help that it's coming off of three pretty mediocre sprite animations, but, um, um, and now looking back, like it's it's still good, but um, uh, but I don't know. I just don't like it as much. Yeah, I don't know. I I don't know. I think it's like it's good. Don't get me wrong. I just don't think it's as good compared to what the rest of the season has to offer. Honestly, that's why yeah. I put it this low. Plus, the analysis sections were boring. <laughs> yeah, um... <laughs> which you'll probably find as a trend. Yeah. <laughs> I almost gets to the point where we don't even need to talk about it anymore. Which is why we no. don't in our main podcasts. Um, yeah. I don't know. I did I did factor that into my ranking though, so I'm sure you did too. Uh, um and, uh I think the biggest thing I think my least favorite part about this fight is the music. Unlocking Heaven is such a boring track. Yeah. <laughs> um Yeah. Like, like it's often considered one of the worst tracks of uh, at least season five, and I'm like, yeah, I can see it. Uh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Like, other than the um, little bit of the Kingdom of Hearts theme, um, I honestly can't really remember much about it. <laughs> yeah, so for it's so forgettable compared to the rest of the songs. Yeah, season. it's like I don't hate it, and apparently Brandon had a uh, sort of a rough time when making this one, so. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, like, it's not awful, but it's no. not good either. Yeah. Um, um, but, uh, um, but honestly, this fight's salvaged by one thing. Justin Reiner. Yes! <laughs> oh, I was wondering when you get to that. I mean, okay, first of all, I want to say, Sora doesn't sound that bad. Like, his no, he didn't. Did. No, no, he I, didn't. I know, but just... Brian, but, no, he didn't, but, but uh, Justin told us. Oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, it's so good. <laughs> he, like, sounds just like him. And, of course, I'm <laughs> of course, I'm going this crazy about my hair every day, no voice actor, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, just, he, he sounds just, exactly like Pit, though. <laughs> like it's not just well, like, uh, it's not just a my hero voice actor. It's the voice actor of the main character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, so, by the way, if you didn't know, he, um, um, Justin voices Deku in My Hero Academia, so that's yeah. why. So um, there you go. It's funny because uh, when I was working with uh, the G1 guys for the blog. Um, mm-hmm. uh, that's just back when I was volunteer. Um, yeah. Um, uh, 
Uh, this was, and this was also back when uh, Blazer was uh, just a, just a, a member. He wasn't a researcher at the time. Oh, yeah. Uh, but he actually called it. He actually called <laughs> that Justin Briner would play for Ed. Um, yeah. So that was fun. Um, um, also, uh, I'm just gonna say this. Uh, yes, Nick is goofy. It's awful, but I'm pretty sure that was done on purpose. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, also, I find it funny how Goofy was like, "Yeah, there you go, Sora. You killed somebody." Go, <laughs> <laughs> you committed murder. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Funnily enough, it's us. It's it's funnier too because it's a Disney character. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, but yeah, all that aside, um, like the fight's very well animated. It's very well animated. Um, yeah. But it, it has the same problem as, as the other as the other fights, in, in that, yeah, it's well animated, but it's also kind of boring. <laughs> um, yeah. Like, take out take out Justin Bryan and his hit, um, and I don't think there would have been much to salvage this one. Yeah. Um, Um, but yeah, uh, it's funny because when this came out, this was actually, this actually, when this was still relatively fresh, this probably would have been a lot higher. Um, yeah, maybe, probably not, honestly. Um, well, I don't know, it would have been for me, because yeah. I actually really liked it, um, at the yeah. time, but now I'm yeah. just like, eh, hey, it's okay. Um, eh, fair enough, I don't know, I never was big on it, but whatever. Um, alright then, next up. Uh, I guess this is technically number 12. Um, technically. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, Showing the number 12, I number 12 is... Here we go! Come <laughs> It was ice fighting with you, buddy! Ah, oh really? This got this low? I'm surprised, honestly. Hmm. This this got 22 points. Um, All right. Okay, so it got 11th on both. Um. If it was 11 on your list, then yeah. Uh, yeah, it was. Yep. Um. Okay. Um. I don't really know what to say about this one, honestly. Um, I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, it's like, I, it's like, I uh, like it, and then, yeah. I mean, I, it's alright. I, I don't know. Like, um, is it just, yeah. okay, one thing I will say, is it just me, or is Frank more annoying than this than he actually is? Eh, I don't know. I didn't find him now. I don't think so, personally. Okay. Yeah, um, probably just you then. <laughs> uh, yeah. Honestly, this is a pretty basic fight. Like, it's, it's good. Um, like everything about this is just good. Um, yeah. Um, I will say I would I would have preferred if this, uh, uh, I would prefer this if this fight was 3D. Um, yeah. Same here. Uh, and apparently, so did uh, so did the crew. Um, uh, but um, Torian got the idea, and it's like T Torian was like, "Oh shoot, I get to animate Leon. That's so cool!" And then he's like, "Oh wait, Frank has all these weapons, and I have to include zombies into it." Okay, uh, I'm backing off. Screw this. <laughs> nope, I'm back. I'm, I'm back. Um, kind of sucks, Also, still, also, I still stand by. It should have been Frank versus Ash. Yeah. Like I, this fight was good and everything, but I still think Ash would have been better. Yeah. Um, although uh, granted, I, that would have granted that wouldn't have left a lot of options for Leon, but whatever. True. Um, I don't know. I think they made a smart choice with um, doing this first, but I don't know. I mean, I do think that we'll go back to do Ash versus Frank at some point. Just I don't know when. Hmm. But yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Stop. <laughs> that was short. Um, yeah. Uh, good episode just now. Let's talk about. Yeah. 
Uh, I guess it's technically number 10. Um, mm. No, wait. No. This will be 11. A, yeah, this will be 11. Well, again, it's so confusing. I, I would share how notes handled it, but that would spoil the rest of this lesson. So. Mm -hmm. Because uh, um, there's, one, there's one part here that I think is very interesting. Ooh. Um, anyways. Oh, boy. Uh, anyways. Um, number, I guess, yeah. Okay, number 11. I wish I could see the look on your face. Me too. this on your list i actually had this i'm pretty sure i actually had this, yeah i had this one number eight number um, eight geez <laughs> uh, yeah. so this got 21 I, points yeah i had it at i had it at 13 personally um that's very i don't know <laughs> honestly uh i had this one relatively high because it fascinated me um yeah i uh, mean i don't know this one this one's kind of difficult for me to rank because like I do really like it, especially for the first live action episode. It's just, yeah. I don't know. Just compared to the other episodes, like fight wise, it just felt a little lacking, I guess. Which obviously, like, of course, because it's in live action. But like, yeah. I don't know. Just compared to the other fights this season, it, I don't know. It felt rather lackluster. I mean, to be fair, we have a bunch of episodes this season that are like some of the best episodes of the show. So yeah. Um, yeah. So I don't think. Um, I don't think Nightwing vs. Daredevil being uh, where it is right here is anything to sneeze at. No. So, no. Um, but I don't. I don't know. Like especially when I watched like the the cast that explained the the process and the and Isma Hawk's behind the scenes video. It was fascinating to me. Um, um, it, was, it was it was it was very interesting to learn how much they they put into it. How much like how much goes into a three minute live action fight. Um, yeah. Which, um, like, what they did with the live action, I do think it, it like, the live action stuff does look really good, especially, mm -hmm. which, I mean, of course, like, Isma Hawk is, like, very, um, experienced with this, this kind of thing, but, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, uh, Danny Shepard and Tyler Tackett are the absolute perfect, uh, <laughs> uh, casting, uh, for these characters um yeah i mean i mean danny had to play nightwing oh yeah um that's kind of well that's kind of one of the big things he's known for um mm -hmm. uh, uh because of nightwing the series which actually which by the way go watch nightwing the series it's actually pretty good um uh um but uh but i was thinking like how who are they gonna get to play daredevil because um like, like, obviously they were going to get Danny to play Nightwing. Uh, yeah. But, like, uh... I was like, okay, so this is, like... This will be interesting, because I'm curious. Because uh, I'm more familiar with, like, voice actors than regular actors. Um... Um... Especially in a show like this. Um... <laughs> um, um... And apparently... Uh, I haven't watched this thing myself, but, um... Apparently he plays, a. Uh, he, apparently he played Android 17 in a Dragon Ball fan film or whatever. Um, uh, I think it was a... Uh, what was it called? <laughs> mm, I think it was like Dragon Ball Z Light of Hope or something. Um, I don't know. Sounds about right. <laughs> um, anyway. Uh, um, but yeah, he was perfect. He looks a lot like... Uh, uh, he looks a lot like Daredevil's live-action voice actor in 
live action voice actor. Ha. Um, yeah. <laughs> live action actor from the Netflix series. Um, yeah. Um, if I had to complain about anything, um, uh, well, one thing is, in, one of them is a nitpick. Um, uh, I feel like the Daredevil costume could have been a little bit more armored up in comparison yeah. to Nightwing's, but that's yeah, a minor thing. Um, I don't thing with that. But. Um, and I just, and I do want to dis I do want to disclaimer this. Um, I don't think the Daredevil costume is bad in any way, shape, or form. I think it's no, no. I, I think it's a great costume. Um, but compared to like the Netflix show, which is a lot more, which looks a lot more like armor. Um, yeah. I don't know. Um, I don't, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Um, <laughs> um, another thing. This is a lot less of a nitpick, and I don't even think it's that bad. Um, I do feel like the music could have been a little more engaging. Um, um, like, okay, here, here's the thing. Um, Devil of the Night is, is as a background track, is great. It fits yeah. very well with the fight. Um, yeah. But on its own, it's just okay. Um, yeah, I can hear that. It, um, it like, needs the fight to like, mm -hmm. be it. At its greatest, yeah, basically, um, and that's not a bad thing. But I do kind of prefer tracks I can listen to more than stuff that's just there in the fight. Um, yeah. Um. So, and it's not, like if that's my biggest complaint, then that just goes to show how good the actual episode is. Um, yeah. Um, but I don't know. Um. Honestly, I put this one higher because of because it, it interests me, and I I do hope we see Ismahawk again. Um, we probably will, honestly. Um, yeah, we probably will, but uh, uh, I hope, and I'm hoping it's relatively soon. Um, because this mm. season six missed out. Um, yeah, I it'll, it'll probably be uh, next season, honestly. I yeah, probably. So. <laughs> yeah, probably. Who knows? Um, Who knows? All right, next. I think this is number ten. Um. Yes. Um, and it is. This got this got this, no, this got nineteen points. This is gonna make someone very mad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh no! Um, just throwing this out there. Uh, I had this one at number nine. Uh, I had it at uh, ten. Dude, I got it at ten. Um, so at least it made a top ten on both. Um, yeah, which is good. Um, there's there's a lot. I'm sure someone wants to say about this fight, but he he won't. Um. Yeah. Not now, anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna say this. You guys can't, uh, you guys can't hear him because he's muted, but, uh, Richard is actually in the call, so. Yeah, he's just listening to us talk about it. <laughs> um, so. I'm sure he's sitting there Fun. judging us harshly. Um, <laughs> um uh, so, we should probably be careful with what we say. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, okay, first things first. Um, uh, the voice acting for both was phenomenal. Um, oh, yeah. Um, like, I honestly could barely... Like, like I could tell it's Kaiju Tang because it's, uh, it <laughs> sounds a lot like his, his role for Zoro. Um, yeah. Um... Um, and I saw a lot of comments saying, like, is that the same guy who played Zoro? Um, <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, uh, uh, good job, good job, random YouTube comment. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, uh, the hand on stuff's really good. Um, yeah. Um, I will say it's, uh, 
Uh, the fact that it does lean on the art style Samurai Jack, uh, while not a bad thing in any way, uh, uh, it does kind of give you that impression that like, uh, Jack's probably going to win. Um, yeah, and he did. Just so. And then he did. Um, <laughs> uh, like, I do wish it kind of... Uh, I do wish the two art styles kind of mixed a little bit more, uh, instead of yeah. focusing solely on one, but granted that would have made either, but granted no matter what you do, one of them's gonna look very weird. Um, uh, I also say, minor thing, I do kind of wish it was on Ninja Ninja, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> just, for, just for the comedy, but we didn't need to, so we didn't need to, so they didn't. Um, yeah, there you go. Um, um, also, love the music. I do wish I listened to it after I watched the fight, though. Um, oh, because the ending. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, it gets all super, it gets all tense and such. I'm like, oh, this is so good. And then I just hear the Samurai Jack. Watch out. I was, I was Watch like, out. oh. I was oh. like, oh. Okay. <laughs> well, then. <laughs> there goes that tense feeling. <laughs> um, yeah. Um... That's honest. I mean, honestly, that's on me, but, uh, yeah, but well, still. Uh, yeah. Honestly, um, the only thing I could really say about it um, is that I wish it was longer. <laughs> it looked yeah. so good, but it yeah, felt like it was, it was over. Kinda, I do wish it was yeah. longer. Um, but it felt like it was over so fast, and that makes me sad. <laughs> but whatever. Um, yeah. It's no big deal. Um, yeah. I mean, at least what we got for it was really good, so. Yeah. Um, there you go. Um, I'd say it's also one of the, uh, uh, oh, this one does have, uh, uh, one thing above, uh, most other hand-drawn fights, in that it has, uh, visual effects when the yeah. hits land, um, which, uh, you'd be surprised how much impact from the hits is lost when you don't have them. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, just go watch Smokey vs. McGraw, you'll see exactly what I mean. Um, um. But yeah, that's not much to say about this one. It's, uh, it good. Um, yes, it's very good. Um, moving on, I guess it's number nine. Um, number nine. Now, what's that? What? Okay, are you outside? Because I'm hearing static right now. Oh, that's weird. Hold on. Uh, is that better? That's okay. That's much better. Okay, that's weird. Um, I don't know. You have any idea what that was? Because that was definitely on your end. Um, huh. Strange. I don't know. Probably my fan, but I don't know how it picked up so clearly. Huh. I don't know. Oh, huh. okay. Um, anyways, num number 10. Mm, or 9. Or no yeah, 9. Sorry. <laughs> I told you, this is confusing. Um, I I'll share what the what the list looks like for me. Because um, I have it in front of me. Um, um, I'll show off what it looks like when we get to number one. Um, All right. Um, but yeah, number nine. Does it hurt yet? Don't worry. I'll put you out of your misery. Really? Oh, dang. This, this like got very opposite <laughs> positions on my list. Yeah, so this got uh, this got numbers. This got seventeen points. Um, yes. Uh, and if you have, and if you want someone to blame for putting it this well, blame me. <laughs> yeah, because I put it at number four. Yeah. Uh, um. Okay. Uh, I have a lot of explaining to do. Clearly. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, and I I understand I, I get it I get the this fight um, um, and I'm not saying it's a bad fight by any means um, um, and you know what because of that I'm gonna go over things I like about this episode um, um, okay uh, so it I will say it's very well animated um, I'm surprised oh, yeah. they I'm surprised they managed to work with that Lucy sprite um, <laughs> um, the way they animated the vectors was uh, was very creative. I like it because um, they're supposed to be invisible, but 
Mm-hmm. But you need to tell, you need, you need to show me that Karin is getting hit by something. Um, yeah. Um, um, and then two of my favorite things about uh, about this episode. One is the voice acting. Holy crap, the voice acting in this episode is fantastic. Yes, it's like one of the best parts of it, yeah. honestly. Um, Danielle McRae is a, uh, definitely shows that sort of like somber and uh, I don't want to say bored, but I don't know what else to say. Um, <laughs> Lucy voice. Um, yeah. Um, and then Chris Guerrero might as well be a demon. Because um, <laughs> uh, uh, you'd be surprised how little of that Carnage voice was filtered. Um, um, Cause like Carnage sounds like it's like a bunch of people talking, um, <laughs> um, but like the main voice you hear on Carnage, that's that's him. Um, but none of, but almost none of it is actually filtered. Um, so, so that's that's insane. Um, um, uh, and the other thing is the soundtrack. Um, oh it is- my! goodness the soundtrack is amazing yeah there is so much uh, this this has the right mix of uh energy and you know that you would get in a fight track while also having a lot of horror to it yeah um, which is good considering these two are very scary <laughs> yes um very scary um <laughs> um um but okay um uh, that's that's basically all you needed for a um, for for a good fight. It's well animated. It's got good voice acting. It's got good soundtrack. Um, it's all very 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 well done. Um, yes. But like uh, like, <laughs> like object like here's the thing. Objectively, this is actually one of the best fights of the season. Um, yeah. Um, but the reason why it's this low, at least for me, is very much subjective. Um, yeah, I could already tell why. Um, okay, first thing, this is minor. This is a minor nitpick, but to get on the objective side of it a little bit, I do wish it was bloodier. Um, um, yeah. I feel like, yeah. Uh, yeah. No. I feel like, uh, I feel like it wasn't. Um, I feel like it wasn't gruesome enough. Maybe that's just me. Um, yeah, it was. It was just you. <laughs> um, but I don't know about other people. I, I thought it was pretty cool. Like um, it was fine. Out of blood. Uh, it was very one-sided. That's not good. Um, um, Carnage landed like what three scratches, um, and that was it. Um, like when this when they showed this episode at RTX, um, or they showed a preview of it anyway. But you know what I mean. Um, um, like they they had it up until uh, the train sequence, which by the way was the best part of the episode. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and at that point, I was like, "Okay, there's no way they're gonna have time to lose." And then he did. Um, <laughs> speaking of which, I hate the death. Absolutely hate it. Um, uh, for a multitude of reasons, but uh, um, the biggest one being we live in a world where uh, um, Ace's death is more brutal than Carnage's. Um, let that sink in for a second. Um, a pack Ace's Ace's canonical death is more brutal than Carnage's here. Um, that's depressing to me um, uh, because all because uh, all that killed Ace was a punch to the chest. That's it. Um, <laughs> it's like okay. Um, like I wanted to see like if, if Carnage was gonna lose, I wanted to see um, like. The symbiote peel back, and then like we see Cletus, and then his skin peels back. Like you basically have a repeat of Ace's death. It's <laughs> more so because we also have the symbiote to deal with. Um, yeah. Uh, but nope, it's just a it's just a shot from miles away, um, and then all of a sudden, like again, I don't see I don't see a body. I mean, granted that we couldn't see a body because then he would come back, but still, I. It's like I said before. I wanted to. I want to make sure that the loser is dead before the KO screen shows up. And yeah. I didn't get that feeling from this from this episode. Um, um, 
Also the line, I hate you. Like, what? <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna end it with that and yet have one of the greatest lines in the season when you were in the train. Like, come on, man. Um, um, but here's the biggest reason. This is more personal. Um, this is why it got so low for me. Um, so, during the wait for this fight, the debates for this one was migraine-inducing. Um, like, I got legitimate headaches debating this fight. I'm not even... I really, really wish I was exaggerating. Um, um, and you'd think, since uh, we haven't talked about the results of any of these episodes, um, uh, that I would have been on Lucy's side. But no, I was actually on Team Carnage. Um, uh, so to have... So to have the uh, debates be as, as bad as they are, and then to have the episode come out and have me be on the losing side, it didn't sit well with me. Um, yeah, I'd imagine. Yeah. It's <laughs> um, so like, well, great. Now I just, well, great. Now I feel like I went through all that head, all those headaches for nothing. Um, all right, that's fine. Um, and I should clarify: the debates weren't bad because, uh, you know, people were, uh, uh, like, overplaying or downplaying one of the sides. No, it's because there was a bunch of questions that needed to be answered and no one could agree on the answers to them. Um, uh, I would go over them, but that's not important. We don't need to, we don't need to talk about it. Um, um, I'm honestly still unsure if I agree with the results, honestly, but yeah. at the same time, if, at the same time, if I go over that, it would open that can of worms again. I do not want that. Um, I, I will say, I think Mach 2 Carnage is dumb. Uh, grant, but granted, if anyone out there actually thinks that Mach 2 Carnage is actually legit, then what are you doing? You have not read comics. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, okay, uh, and that will that will definitely... That, that shows with, like, if Deadpool can get lightning timing stuff, then come on. Yeah. Um, whatever. Um, that's all in the past. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, like that's yeah. honestly why it's so low for me. Um, Fair enough. Diver- I'm gonna explain a little bit myself why it's so high for me. It's really honestly like it's mainly because of the animation. To the animation, really. Yeah, I do agree that like the, the research, especially for Carnage, was a bit shaky, especially with my Q. Um, and that's someone who doesn't even get much into the the baits. Uh, mm-hmm. That's for someone that doesn't even get. Um, to the debates um, for these. But, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I will admit that the research for Karn, like, it was just a bit eh, <laughs> overall. But the fight, oh my goodness, it was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, like it's kind of like the same reason I put Batman versus Black Panther over Raven Twilight. Like, the animation just so good. <laughs> 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 like, that it pretty much um, overshadows any of the um, the, yeah, the, any of the, um, animation of it. Yeah. Or any of the, um, freaking, what does it, you got what I mean. I'm yeah, sure. I get it. Um. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, I should say, I will 100% take a good fight that's wrong over a bad fight that's right. Um, yeah. Like, I, I disagree with Don Tiffer's Bayonetta, but I don't care, that fight's amazing. Um. Yeah. Um, and also, uh, also I'm biased because... Dante's my boy, but whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, speaking of bias, though, um, uh, we're moving on. I this is number this is number eight, right? <laughs> yes, I okay. think. Um, okay, number eight. Done with this. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
messes with me, pal. <laughs> oh, all right then. Okay, I put this at nine, so I'm pretty close. Uh, this got 13 points, so you can tell where I uh, put this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Well. well okay. First of all, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna. I'll be. I'm gonna be honest. It's all because. I. Uh, it's. It's by. Bi I'm biased as crap. Um, yeah. I mean. Um, okay. Spoiler alert. Um. I. The reason I put my number one where it is is because of bias as well. Um. So. That I. Ex that there was a, explains a, a lot, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Um, so yeah. And like. Okay, so I'm going to explain a little bit why I put this so low. It's mainly because the competition this season was so rough, and while wow, this fight was very good, it's just it, the other fights I thought were above it. Yeah, that's fair. Um, um, but man, I've been needing a reason to talk about this fight again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, um, so if you guys can't tell, you probably can't because you don't watch my videos. Um, uh, I'm kind of a big Crash and Spyro fan. Um, yeah. Never would have guessed, right? Uh, <laughs> no um, way. <laughs> um, like, I... These two are my Mario and Sonic. Like, this is, like, everyone... I, I, I say this all the time, but I, it's, I, it's true, so why wouldn't I yeah. say it all the time? Um, like, people... Like, when I was a kid, people, uh, people were like... Like the parks or whatever would be like, I, like oh, I just played Mario or I just played Sonic. I'm just like I, I played Crash Spyro. Is that <laughs> my cool kid now? Um, uh, yeah. Uh, to, to answer that question, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, granted, we're, up, we're granted. I don't. Uh, we're we're sitting on our butts talking about an internet show. I don't think any of us were very popular in school. Uh, <laughs> <You're right. laughs> well, I don't know. I'm, a lot of people like me, but whatever. <laughs> um, it's been a nerd. And okay, I will say, I will concede that this episode isn't perfect, and I will agree, and I will say that it, um, like, again, it's high, it's high uh, on my list. It's as high as, um, it's, uh, okay, this is where my tongue stuck, stopped working. Um, <laughs> uh, it's as high on my list as it is because of my experience with these characters um this is a fight i've been wanting for ages um, yeah um like ever since i got into the whole requesting matchup thing I'm like this is the first one that comes to mind um uh, um because i i have so much so much appreciation for these characters they, they mean a lot to me um, mm -hmm. um so to have a so not only to have the fight happen but to not the absolute garbage. Mm -hmm. It's it feels good. Um, yeah. Um, um. There's there's a lot I want to there's a lot I want to say about this fight, but I can't say but but I can't because uh, the time um, we have yeah. we have 16 episodes to talk about, and I don't and we're barely halfway through this list. Um. <laughs> um um, but, uh, yeah, this fight, uh, it definitely, it definitely shows they care about the characters. Um, oh, yeah. You can um, see, you can tell that, like, they've done their, like, especially with these two, they know what they're talking about when it comes to these two. Yeah. Um, um, I will say I still, I still disagree with the idea of using Legends. Um. Yeah, that one was, a, that choice was a bit, um, yeah. <laughs> But you know, um, whatever. But granted, like, I mean, to be fair, I have there's a lot I could say about legends, but I'm not going to. Um, <laughs> um, and it's, I'm in a weird situation on whether or not I agree with the, with these results or not, um, because on one hand they did use legends in Spiral One, so yeah, but the stuff they said afterwards is uh, questionable. <laughs> true, uh, but even but even regardless of that. Um, yeah. um, but at the same time, I disagree with them using legends. And if they yeah. didn't use legends and crash, would have won. Um, yeah. So it's I, I'm in a bit of I'm, I'm in a bit of uh, I'm in a bit of a loop here. 
Uh, <laughs> it's like, do I agree with the results? Do I not? I don't know. Um, yeah. Um, I agree with them for with, with the sources they used, but yeah, I don't agree with them using those certain sources. But whatever. Um, <laughs> um, That's fair, honestly. Um, but aside from that, uh, I love this fight. It's it's amazing. It's it, it's um, it's just fun to see these characters interact with each other. Like it's um, yeah. Like this is this. Uh, I, I will I, I will say I do think they should have used. Uh, I mean, it's weird because um, when I saw the, the the when they posted that screenshot on Twitter, um, oh, yeah. uh, revealing the revealing like how the fight is gonna look, um, mm -hmm. um, I I recognize the crash model easily. Easily, it's from Twin Sanity, um, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm like, why aren't they using the insane model? <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, but I guess to be fair, um, Spyro doesn't have a model that. Uh, mesh as well with that, because um, uh, reignited oh, wasn't out of yeah reignited crazy. wasn't out at the time reignited wasn't announced at the time um, yeah which is crazy to think about um um thank you death battle curse <laughs> Spyro's been through too much Spyro's been dormant for too long um, okay but the that's, but them haven't been dormant for too long <laughs> that's so. true I saw a funny t uh, uh, tweet like at the beginning of the decade they were dead and. <laughs> Uh, now at the end, they've not only that not only are they back, but they're in the same game together. Um, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which is funny. Which is funny, um, <laughs> and also awesome. Uh, Indeed. Um, it's just nice to see these characters on the same screen. Um, yeah, I get uh, that. But that's honestly the main reason why I like this fight so much. Um, but I, I also think that this fight, even bias aside, I think this fight is a little underrated. Um. um <laughs> Yeah, uh, a like, little bit. I can see where you're coming with that, but hmm. I don't know. Um, this, again, there's a lot I want to say, but no, I don't have enough time to do it. So yeah. Um. Um. So basically, just go watch our discussion video on that. Um, it will. Yeah. It will be the episode before our our hiatus. Um, yeah. So. Um, oh, one thing I will—I don't think uh, we said this in that discussion, but I, um, uh, but uh, both music tracks are amazing. Oh yeah, I, I think we did, but whatever. Um, yeah, well, why not talk about them here? They are really good. Um, um, I'm surprised. Like even I, I didn't—I didn't expect off, off brand to get, or band to get whatever um, to even happen. But it was a nice little backing track. But Crash and Burn, oh my goodness. Yeah. Like even off brand Coot, I think is actually a pretty. I actually think it's a kind of decent listen. Um, like how to make a backing track still still relatively fun to listen to. Uh, yeah. Uh, but um, but like Crash and Burn steals the show. Um, mm -hmm. um, cause um, it combines the uh, the hard rock aspect that fight tracks tend to have. With the cart, with the bouncy, cartoony aspects that, that these characters represent. Yeah, um, which is a nice touch. Yeah. Um, yeah. There you go. Uh, I feel like I focus more on Crash than Spyro, but yeah. that's, But honestly, that's perfectly fine. Um, <laughs> um, as much as I love Spyro, a lot of its music is a little too backgroundy for me. Uh, Fair enough. Um, that said, listen to the Glenda thing. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you if you want to get a good taste of both these both these franchises' music, just listen to Glimmer from Spyro 2, and then all of the soundtrack of Wrath of Cortex, yeah. all of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Um, should move. We should move on before I get too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's fine. This, this guy. I, before I get too talkative about this. Yeah. Um, I mean, I haven't been on for that long, so I, it's not that. that I know, fine. but uh, I know, but I don't want to drag this on for too long talking about Crash and Spyro. Mm, and, fair enough. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, oh, why am I getting? I mess this all the time. Uh, I think this is number seven. Um, yes, because this was eight, right? Um, Carnival yeah. Okay, two. I'm just gonna. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm gonna spoil this right now. We have a three-way tie and a two-way tie coming up. So, Are you kidding me? Um, oh, so no. this is why the list looks so confusing to me. Um, 
Um, so, so this is um, seven through uh, seven through well, uh, well five. Um, well, no, 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 no. They're coming up. They're not next. Um, oh, okay. This next one is on its own. Um, okay. Um, so you know what? Screw saying how much, uh, what <laughs> position they're in. Just talk, let's just talk about these episodes. This one yeah. is. You old fool! I can't believe you fell for that. Let's end this. <laughs> <laughs> really really interesting very very interesting but okay okay there's an episode there's one coming up that's in a uh that's in a bit of a sticky situation that i'm actually kind of happy is higher than this one because it's actually kind of debatable on which one um which of the two episodes is better between this one and uh, and the other one um mm-hmm. um I personally think the other one's better, and so does this list. Um, uh oh. Um, um, but I still think this one's good, like really good. Um, oh yeah, this I put this one really. I put this at two. So. Yeah. Um, um. So okay. Um, okay. Uh, first off, I saw a lot of people complain that they didn't get Nick Landis to play Roshi. Um. Eh. Why? <laughs> Because Dragon Ball Z is rich. That's I know, why. but like, <laughs> this is this this Patrick Rodriguez was perfect. Yeah, that too. Patrick was born. Patrick was borderline perfect as well. Mm, yeah, I agree. Um, also, how to get? Also, this episode shows how to give me PTSD flashbacks while also being better than before. Because <clears> Thor's <throat> back. Because Thor's back and he played Jiraiya. Yeah. Um. Uh, <laughs> Um, when yeah, I saw the discussion. when <laughs> I saw the when I saw the tweet that said, "Hey, Jonas Scott's playing Dry," I was like, "Oh, okay. <laughs> here we go." Um, um, in all fairness, uh, Jonas Scott was actually kind of was actually pretty decent as Thor. Whatever. Um, out of all the things I don't like about that fight, he's not one of them. Um, um, neither is the other. Not, neither is the other thing that we'll talk about tomorrow. Um, uh, as we're recording oh. this, um, I'll go with it. I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, I mean, we, I guess we actually no. Never mind. Uh, uh, anyways, um, I think why I li- I think why I like the other one better is because it's more engaged. Uh, I'll 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 be, I'll try to remember to bring it up when that episode comes out. But, um, yeah. Um, but uh. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, but yeah, this one has great voice acting, great animation, great music, um, I, I love the music in this episode, um, uh, and, uh, yeah, also, uh, Gamma, also, I'm, uh, I'm, I say this all the time, and I'm not gonna, and it's not gonna change, Gamma Bunta sounds a lot like, well, sounds exactly like Waldstein from Under Night and Earth. <laughs> You can't convince me otherwise. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, um, also, uh, uh, Jiraiya was very clever in this fight. Um, <laughs> uh, having having a shadow clone do the do the fighting. Um, yeah. So he could charge up. Uh, yeah, honestly, it was, very, it was very clever. I didn't expect that. Yeah, that's honestly that's one of the reasons I really like this fight. Like, it kept me on your kept you on your toes like even though you knew that Roshi was gonna win like Jiraiya like kept like I like Jiraiya with like all of his ability like kept you on it like he made you think that he was gonna win yeah which is good um like I actually thought like when Roshi got uh caught in that trance I was like oh heck no (laughs) oh heck no (laughs) you're not gonna do that to me um um but yeah. Um, also, I'm also I'm like 90% sure that uh, they used all of their moves, um, which is impressive. Um, close. If it's not all of them, it's close to all of them. Yeah, I think the only one, um, 
that they didn't use, and even then, I'm not sure, um, was Roshi's uh, Thundershock surprise. Um, but even yeah. then, I'm pretty sure. Uh, even then, I'm pretty sure he actually did use it um, near the beginning. But whatever. Yeah. Um, um, but yeah. Um, uh, yeah. This this fight's this fight's great. I like it. Um, um, it, it's, it's, it's funny because, uh, this one's actually, this one's actually a little lower on my list. Um, um, but that just goes to show how tough the competition is this season. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, like I actually, I had this at number 10. I'm just going to say this now. Um, like I said, I had it at two, so <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Um, yeah. um, all right. Uh, number Six. Whoa. I want to say six. No. Um, yes, I think. Um, hold on. Yes, number six. I actually had to count. Um, <laughs> number six. By the hoary host of Hoggoth. Where am I? Doctor Strange. That's gonna be awkward when uh uh okay never mind um <laughs> uh yeah this one got eleven points um yep uh and uh how to how to uh sh- shove it in people's faces that cosmic tier Marvel vs DC fights can actually be good um <laughs> yes because uh, I saw a lot of people saying that uh. Fights between Marvel and DC Cosmic Tears is nowhere near as interesting as Marvel and DC Street Rollers. Huh, um, yeah, about that. <laughs> yeah. Um, this episode exists. <laughs> yeah. Like, this episode exists, and it's better. Um, <laughs> holy crap, it's so good. Um, yeah. Um, like, it's, it's very action-paced, which I was actually very surprised about. Um, mm-hmm. um, like, I thought this was going to be a... Uh, well, I thought this was going to be action-based. I didn't think it was going to be this action-based because, of, uh, for one, it's just you know the fact that they're cosmic characters, but also the fact that it's in sprites. Um, <laughs> I thought they were going to be a lot. Li- I thought they were going to be kind of limited in what they were going to do. Um, yeah, but but nope, they went above and beyond. Holy crap! Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Brandon killing it again with the music. Um, um, and yeah. then probably my favorite bit of the episode is the voice acting, um, <laughs> particularly for uh, Strange. Um, yeah. Because um, it's Damon Mills. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, Frieza and Leonardo Lionheart is Doctor Strange. Um, <laughs> um, I'm guessing his role as Lionheart is why they cast him here, because they sound a lot alike. Um, Honestly, probably. Um, and then freaking... Like the reason why I think he's a better he's better for Strange than Mike Barker is is fate is because Mike Barker sounds a lot to me like Liam O'Brien. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that was like I, that's not a bad thing, but uh, mm-hmm. although I do find that funny because Strange's mm-hmm. uh, uh, more well-known voice actor is Liam O'Brien. <laughs> um, uh, like the, like comic book characters have like this very. Uh, very set in stone voice actors like Batman has Kevin Conroy, Joker is Mark Hamill. Um, mm-hmm. uh, for Strange, it's Liam O'Brien, um, which I find funny because that's who Fate sounds like to me. <laughs> um, um, but whatever. Um, uh, 
But yeah, I, I love this fight. I just and I just love how crazy it gets. It's we're we're in the Sanctum Centurium, and then we're in New York City, then we're in uh, <laughs> New York with Ninja Turtles, and then we're underwater. Which, by the way, the water animation is very well done. Um, Makes sense to me. Uh, and then we're in Star Wars, and then we're in Asgard. <laughs> I think I don't know. They never really said where they are. Um, I, I personally, I, I'm personally just gonna say it's Rainbow Road, but whatever. Sure, there you go. Uh, also, hi Chuck and Sagata. There you are. Again. Um, <laughs> so that's uh, where they went. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, and then we're on. I saw a lot of people say that dragon was Shenron, um, <laughs> which I find funny. Um, yeah. Uh, um, and uh, <laughs> um, and then then we're in the same desert set piece as uh, Jiro Jiro Kenshiro. Kenshiro. Um, but I find funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, that uh, that sprite for uh, what's her name? Um, yeah. uh, Inza, I think her name yeah. is. Um, yeah, Inza. Uh, is almost exactly the same as Captain Marvel sprite, um, <laughs> which which I find. A lot funnier than I think I should. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um, there you go. Um, but yeah, this fight's. Good. I wish Strange won, but that's biased. So. Yeah. Um, but. Um, and I have nothing against Fate, so it's whatever. Um, there, there you go. Uh, all right, next one. <laughs> this one's interesting because we have a three-way tie for number two. <laughs> oh boy. Um. <sighs> Um, I can already tell I'm not gonna like one of the entries on here. Uh, you might be surprised, actually. Um, hmm. um so first up, we have. I'm just bad. I must stand, so you shall fall. Yeah, I am sorry. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> I had this at seven. So, this, whoops. This got nine points. Um, yeah. Which isn't this, bad. Yeah, this is seven? Come on. No, you had this at eight. Okay. Um, no, I had it at... Oh, wait, no, no. Yeah, I did have it at eight. My bad. Um, I was about to say, if you had it at seven, this this is actually a two-way tie, and this is higher. Um, oh, dang. Um... But, uh, no, it's today, it But anyways, um, man, I've been meaning reason to talk about this fight. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. We never got the chance. But Here's our chance. Um, and unlike Crash vs. Spyro, I'm actually going to be talking about it much, uh, this as much as I can. Uh, because right. we already talked about Crash vs. Spyro. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, okay. Uh, where do I start? For one, um, <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna say this. Um, like, so, Carnage versus Lucy got low, as well as it did, like, low as it did for me because of personal reasons. And this got as high as it did mm. because of the exact same thing. Um, <laughs> although for different. It's, it's funny because it got higher for the same reason that being personal, but it's different personal reasons. Um, and that being that this fight came out at the absolute perfect time. Uh, Fair enough. Because um, I had a pr I was having a pretty rough time during the wait for this episode. Um, um, school had just started back up. Uh, I'd gotten back from the family trip. If you, if you watched my vlog on this, uh, I already can tell you did not. Because um, um, no one did. Um, uh, you can see why uh, that family trip could uh, affect me in a negative way. The, the trip was the trip itself was, was a blast, but there's one little thing about that that really affected me more than it should have. Um, um, and it was also at the time when uh, um, you know, I was a little sketchier on death metal research, so I was very frightened that Optus was gonna lose. Um, yeah. Um, thankfully he did not, um, and the episode turned out to be one of, if not the, uh, best episodes 
the objectively best episodes of the show. Because, holy crap. This fight's so good. Yeah. Eh. I don't know. I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong. Like, I, I feel like I keep saying it. it it's good. It should... I don't know. Just personally, I never found it, like... I don't know. Like, I... <laughs> I have to be careful what I say here. Um, <laughs> but, like, I don't know. I just never found it, like, up there with the top episodes of the season. But not saying it's not good, because it's really good. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, um, okay, just going to rip it Just gonna rip it away right now, because we don't really need to strive on it too much. Yes, because we all agree with we all agree with this opinion. Yes, the music is the best thing ever. Um, yeah. Uh we don't really need to dwell on that because of course we all because if you've seen the general reaction to this episode everyone loves the music in this episode yeah and for good reason it is the best thing ever um, <laughs> um, um it's so 80s I love it and I didn't even grow up in the 80s um yeah um it felt a lot like a the touch um yeah um which I think is which is exactly what they were going for so you know. <laughs> there you go. That that means good job. <laughs> um. Uh. Okay. Literally the only thing I don't like about this fight is the Optimus voice. Uh, yeah. Which is yeah. actually kind of a problem because I hate the Optimus voice honestly. <laughs> um. Um. Uh, although. Uh. Amaro saves it. Um. Yeah. Uh, and you'll like this one. You like a, I don't. I can tell you like a, Amro's voice actor, um, because yeah. it's it's another My Hero actor. Um, oh, it is. Oh, you didn't know? <laughs> um, I might have forgot. But. It's uh, it's David Matranga or Matranga, whatever his name is. Um, huh. Um, same about so, voice actor for uh, Shoto. Oh, I did not know that at all. <laughs> I mean, I I didn't. I, or if I did, I forgot it, but. Dang. Yeah, Todoroki right. is Amuro Ray. Huh. Well then. And uh, and Sela is Ruby. Hmm. Um, it's funny because we we'll, we'll probably mention this again uh, with the season six list, but three out of the four voice actor voice actresses between Ruby aren't have been in Death Battle before. <laughs> so we just we just need Aaron Zach. Um, there, there, yeah. um, of Blake. Um, <laughs> we had we had Ruby here. We had Weiss next season and Yang uh, three seasons wait, earlier. <laughs> um, well, so there's there's a fun fact for you. Um, <laughs> so it's funny. This episode has a, a Ruby voice actor and a My Hero voice actor. <laughs> there we go. And then Optimus is just here, like, yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. What's up? <laughs> um, like okay, okay. First off, this fight is beautiful. Um, yeah. Um, Unreal. The Unreal Engine definitely uh, helps this one. Um, uh, mm-hmm. The first one in the Unreal Engine, actually. Yep. And later episodes show this. Um, because yeah, this one's pretty, and I think the, the art style is what they were going for. But uh, the later ones look a lot more um, real. Uh, yeah. Which is funny because it's the Unreal Engine, but whatever. Um, <laughs> um, 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 yeah, the, the later ones look look uh, like uh, like a uh, Widow Squared. It looks a lot more realistic, um, mm-hmm. um, which is what I feel like the Unreal Engine should be going for more times than not. Um, yeah. Um, um, but either way. Um, um, but when, when when the only thing I don't like about this fight is the Optimus voice, it, that really just goes to show uh, yeah. the level of quality this episode has. Um, <laughs> uh, and it's very personal for me, um, because I went in ham on the prediction blog for this one. Um, I wonder why! Yeah. <laughs> um, I was basically in charge, because Optimus is my favorite character. I know, it's surprising. Um, uh... But uh, I was in charge of making it, making me absolutely sure that there was no way he would lose. Um, yeah, which there wasn't. No, there wasn't. Um, um, 
Um, I really need, although uh, working on that blog and then watching the episode made me realize that I probably need to watch Gundam. Um, mm-hmm. Because I actually haven't yet. Um, yeah. Um, but anyways, I, we'll probably do that eventually. Um, yeah. um, maybe I'll do it while I'm waiting for, se- for My Hero Season 4 to wrap up so I can actually watch it. Um, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, I said there was a lot I wanted to say about this one, but I actually don't have anything else. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know. Like... Um, yeah, pretty much about everything I can. Oh, about this one. a little bit of a nitpick, but um, the realistic sound effects for Optimus and then the Gundam sound effects for Gundam were a little distracting, but yeah. um, it's whatever. I imagine they use the Gundam sound, sound effects because they're silly. Um, <laughs> um, like yeah. why not? Why not use them? Like even the video games use them. Um, yeah. Um, but then at that point, why not just use straight up Transformer sound effects? For, uh, I mean, they did for. Optimus actually transforming, but whatever. Um, yeah, no, whatever. Um, also, uh, I know I'm, I know I dwell on the voice acting a lot, but missed opportunity to not have John Bailey voice Optimus, but whatever. <laughs> um, yeah. If he can voice Optimus, uh, if he can voice Optimus on his YouTube channel, um, he's the Honest Trailers voice of the guy, by the way. Um, oh yeah. Um, yeah. If he can voice Optimus, and. In, on his YouTube channel, I'm pretty sure he can voice it here. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. But oh. whatever. Um, uh, and I doubt the I doubt the, the guy who actually played uh, Optimus in the fight is watching this. But if you are, I mean no offense to you. I'm sure you're a phenomenal voice actor. Um, yeah. I just didn't really care for you here. Uh, uh, that's uh, but that's all in the past, and that's literally the only thing I don't like about this episode. So. There you go. Um, there you go. Um, all right. Uh, next up, uh, the second episode in this three-way tie. You are powerful. Possibly more so than I. But this battle was never about the physical. My infection is complete. You belong to me. <laughs> oh, please. What's this? Oh. Oh. Everything belongs to me. Not the one I was expecting, but oh boy. Um, All right, so this this tied for your second. Huh? Yeah, this is the this is when I when I said before about the debate between which is better between Roshi vs. Dry and another episode. This is that episode. Oh, um, uh, okay. Um, Makes sense. Um, and I personally like this one a lot more. Um, like yeah. a lot more. Um, this one this this one was in this one was in my top three. Um, yeah. This one is number six for me, but I mean, I can, like, I definitely can tell it's a really good episode. Yeah. Which, um, and again, have, shows how is, close the competition was. This, yeah. Uh, and you know. this is a, this marks a momentous occasion because this is Liam's first uh, episode. Um, yeah. Um, and he has probably some of the best track records out of a writer. Um, yeah. Because all of his episodes rocked. Um, <laughs> um, so, uh, except for one, but we'll we'll get to that eventually. Um, um, I mean, we've already talked about it, so whatever. Um, uh, but yeah, um, and for a, for a first episode, holy crap! It it, it it's amazing. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, and okay, I do want to clear up a little bit of a misconception. Um, so some people are assuming that uh, the the Sigma voice, the the Sigma lines were voice lines from Marvel Marvel Infinite, um, and I am here to say they are not because Liam told because uh, Liam was in the uh, the uh, Death Battle cast server for a, for a little bit. Um, um, he ended up leaving, I believe, before his next episode came out, um, and I'm not quite sure why. Um, um, but uh, 
but he said that like yeah those those lines were written for this fight so um yeah um so nope it was not voice it was not voice lines it was an actual voice actor um uh, blink blink nudge nudge wonder what that means uh, um but anyways and but talking about sigma's voice actor that us that seems like that and how good he was uh and it almost feels like I'm discrediting uh, the guy who uh, played Ultron, um, yeah. which is not the case. Uh, I love Ultron's voice too. Um, it sounded like that right mix of like Jim Spader, James Spader um, from Age of Ultron, um, yeah, with like uh, oh I forget who's uh, I forget the other voice actors. The same guy who played him in Marvel Infinite. Um, yeah. Um, I forget his name. I think he also played him in uh, Ultimate Alliance 3. Um, Probably. I don't know. Um, um, but you know the voice I'm talking about. Um, yeah. Um, it sounded like that right mix of those two. Like it's, It had like that uh, the voice with the James Spader personality um, uh-huh. which I appreciate. Um, yeah. Um, I honestly can't name anything I don't like about this episode. Um, uh uh, uh, um, I feel like uh, I don't actually. Uh, that's still nitpicking though, because mm. uh, I was gonna say I feel like the armies could have been a little bit more involved, but even then, I don't know. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't know. Um, um yeah, I don't really know what to say. It was yeah. really good. So, um, oh, uh, this is not something. This is not something I don't like. In fact, quite the opposite. Uh, mm-hmm. The music in this episode is phenomenal. Yes, <laughs> that that yeah, um, it's really good. It's so Holy good. It's crap. so metal. It 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 sounds like uh, I said this in the comment section of the video of the, the of the the track on YouTube. Um, uh-huh. um, but I said this sounds like something I would hear out of like Metal Gear Rising. Um, <laughs> yeah, I can hear that. Which is so. which is like probably the most praise you can get out of me for a soundtrack. Um, <laughs> Uh, so there you go. Um, uh, and they actually, uh, uh, mixed it up a bit for the fight. Um, like if you, yeah. if you, if you listen to it in the fight and then you listen to it on its own, it sounds a lot different. Um, mm-hmm. cause they like worked things around. Um, yeah. uh, I kind of, I, I don't know if Brandon ever got the suggestion, uh, but I kind of want him to, I kind of want to see if they, if he can post, the edited version. Um, yeah, I it, it's probably long, like too far away from that. But mm. yeah, probably. Um, I don't know. But, I'm a, I'm in a server, so I can ask him. But uh, oh. um, yeah. but I don't know if he doesn't want to or he can't, then whatever. Um, yeah. Um, also, if you couldn't tell, um, uh, with how I do how I order these ties, um. Uh, it's basically the order they come out, which is why we mentioned Optimus vs. Gundam first. Um, uh-huh. um, which leaves uh, one more episode to talk about in this three-way tie. Uh-huh. Um, um, and that I'm is... Very, I'm very scared about what this could be. <laughs> is he looking at us? Oh my god! It's Deadpool with a gun! Behold an endless day. Oh, okay. Well, that <laughs> that calms my worries a lot, so <laughs> Well yeah, this is number this is a number this is tied for number two. Um Well true. Uh my guess it- Never mind. I was gonna say, I guess it's actually, not bad in either position. So, um, and I actually, uh, it's funny because I actually had this one at number two for, <laughs> on my list. Um, nice. I had it at number seven. So, um, yeah. really short competition. Really short competition. Uh, just like I'm just kind of needing to talk about this one. Um, yeah. um, uh, okay, well, first off, I'm just gonna plug. Uh, if you haven't seen Infinity War or Endgame, I don't know what you're doing. Um, yeah, go watch them now. They're both phenomenal movies. Um, Please. Yeah. Um, although, to be fair, Endgame wasn't out 
uh, when this fight was, but whatever, yeah. I don't care. Um, <laughs> um, that's why this fight, Infinity War is why this fight exists. Um, yeah. Um, or at least why, at least why it came out when it did. Um, and also because they were expect, also because they were expecting Dark Side to show up in the Justice League movie. Um, <laughs> glad to see that mattered. Um, um, whatever. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, uh, if you want to get a handle on how good DC movies are, go watch Aquaman and Wonder Woman. Yeah. Um, um, those are the two movies I can say I've, I've seen that are like very, very, very good. Um, They're great. Um, and I guess to, to a little bit of a lesser extent, I actually kind of like Man of Steel. The only one I think was better um, Batman vs Superman, but whatever. Yeah. Um, uh, and I have to get the Suicide Squad, so yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not as bad as I want to. Okay. okay. Um, <laughs> uh, that's where we switch. <laughs> yep. Um, okay. Um, so first things first, this fight is beautiful. Um, yeah. Um, well, the, once again, um, Unreal definitely showing his power. Um, um, as many people, I'm just gonna say the joke because I know some, I know someone in the comments is going to. Um, uh, so I'm gonna steal your thunder. It's so good, it's unreal. There you go. There's your pun. There's your pun. Uh, no one in the comments can say it. Um, um, now watch how someone does anyway. Uh, <laughs> Dang it! I don't care. Um. Um. And okay, uh, um, and also this fight is long, and I like yeah. it. Um, um, yeah. Like I've always been a fan of the longer episodes. Um, like I, I, um, and I, I got why recent episodes have been like three minutes, barely four minutes long. Um, I get it, it's budget. Um, um, but like to have this one be six minutes long, I felt perfect. Um, yeah. Uh, and not and not once does this fight feel like it's slowing down, so that helps too. Um, yeah. um, uh, and uh, uh, the voice acting on both is absolutely incredible. Um, yeah, they both fit. So. Um, um, special special mention to. Uh, um, actually, no. I was going to make a special mention to Justice Washington as Thanos, um, but um, but I'm actually going to give the credit to Edward Bosco as, as Darkseid because um, holy crap! Um, not because I think it's a better voice. I actually like. I actually prefer Justice Washington as Thanos, but but I'm giving the praise to Edward Bosco because not only is he did he play Darkseid, but he also played Spyro. Um, <laughs> Talk about a mood swing. Yeah. Um, um, so yeah, there you go. Um, uh, um, and, uh, okay. I feel like we need to talk about this. Um, um, cause, uh, the music, it's, there's a lot of, I've heard a lot of opinions about this music. Um, yeah, honestly, I personally don't think rap should have been chosen, but the track itself sounds pretty good, honestly. I don't, I don't know. Like it sounds good, just not. I don't know. It's in that weird position. Like it's good, but I don't think it's the best they put out. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, that makes sense. Here's here's my two cents. Um, that's the phrase, right? Whatever. Um, <laughs> uh, um, I've mentioned this before, but. Uh, I personally prefer tracks that I can listen to on their own over tracks that fit the, that fit the fights. Um, Fair enough. Like I said, this with Devil of the Night because it's not that great to listen to on its own. Um, um, and this is honestly the perfect example for me. Um, okay, would I have picked rap? No, but um, but they did. And it's good, so I don't care. <laughs> um, Fair enough. Uh, and I think people are, uh, 
I think there are people who are being a little over dramatic about it, not fitting the fight. Um, yeah. I it honestly didn't bother me when watching the episode. Um, yeah. um, and I've always been a fan of vocals in in soundtracks, so fair enough. Um, so that helps too. But um, and also and also Omega Sparks is the freak, is a freaking legend, so I don't care. Um, um, can't wait to see him next week. Um, uh, <laughs> um, um, but, uh, yeah, um, I don't know. I feel like there are people, I, I feel like there are people who are being a little overdramatic about, about this track. Um, it didn't bother me, uh, when watching the episode. Um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, um, um, also, uh, I just love how talkative these two are, um, <laughs> you can't have a fight between these two and not have a bunch of banter, um, yeah. um cause these two talk a lot, um, um, although speaking of talking, um, could we have, could, uh, could we have gone through this episode without Deadpool? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Honestly, I don't understand why they had to include him, but whatever. Oh, just for the death, honestly. Which, personally, lame. <laughs> I still stand by that. Like, I... Okay, L listen, I get it. Like, it's meant to show, like, how, oh, Darkseid dies. Like, it's, I get it, it's not his only death, but, like, out of all the deaths you could have went with, why that one? Okay, fair enough. But I disagree. Um, yeah, I mean, fair enough. <laughs> uh, okay, I will say, getting like, Thanos dying by getting shot is a little weird. Yeah. Um, um, but, um, I like it because, uh, it shows how screwed up the Omega Sanction is. Um, fair enough. Um, uh, and let me just say, it's very, um, uh, like, if, if the, if the, if the best thing that can happen to you when you die is getting shot by a meme pool, then, holy crap, um, okay, that's fair enough, but still, um, like, I would, like, I would expect, like, the epic grand season finale to have, like, a more fantastical death, but... That's fair. Um, I honestly expected when, when, uh, Darkseid, uh, shot him with, the uh, Omega Beams, um, I kind of expected them to, like, because they shot into his eyes, I was kind of expecting them to go through his eyes and out of, his, out of the back of his head. Uh, but the Omega Sanction, I honestly think, kind of works better. Um, I will, I will agree it's not as, uh, flashy or anything and yeah that is kind of lame and also deadpool's final line i hate it so much um <laughs> uh but uh yeah it's the way he delivers it too it's, <laughs> it's, he's not just saying are you watching yeah. anime? he's like are you watching any anime it's like, <laughs> ugh, i hate it <laughs> understand i hate it um, i found i found it pretty funny but i understand why people hate it um <laughs> Like, if they had just ended it with, like, Thanos gets shot, and then Darkseid, like, uh, has his little Behold line. And then... Yeah, if they just ended it there, boom, done. There you go. That's all you needed. Um, um, uh, but, yeah, it's, but Thanos is easily, like, the worst death ever, because, um, now he's dying. If they even mentioned that in the episode. It's like now he's gonna be dying over and over and over and over yeah. and for eternity. <laughs> um, that's uh, yeah. the worst fate you could ever. Like, yeah. Holy crap. Um, yeah. I, actually, I know someone in a, a death battle server I'm in. They're actually editing all the deaths from previous death battle and making it happen to Thanos, which I think is <laughs> clever. Like. Uh, like having funny. his head get shot off by Samus and then the raging demon and all that stuff. So <laughs> that's great. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, that means we get to see Thanos get taken out by Night Guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's great. Actually, I didn't realize. That. <laughs> uh, anyways. Um, oh shoot! Imagine him going through uh, what Lobo went through. Oh 
gosh. <laughs> oh man, uh, that's not just dying again, for, uh, but that's also suffering a bunch of pain. <laughs> oh man, that's gonna be safe yeah. for the. That's gonna be safe for later. Uh, yeah, because <laughs> that's another. That's another painful way to go. Um, yeah. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah. Um, I also think uh, the way they handled the like the, way, the the overall ending, like how they handled the Infinity Gauntlet and whatnot, I thought was clever. Um, yeah. And it's super in character for Thanos. Um, <laughs> um, like um, Thanos, like uh, getting tricked into falling dark side into the fourth into the fourth world that's so thanos i love it um, <laughs> yeah. um uh, that's that's also per, that's also perfect in terms of dark side game so um if i had to say one thing that i found a little bit weird is the model picks um yeah uh, that will admit that's a bit weird like um, dude, you had the injustice 2 model why use mk versus dc i don't yeah, understand like i i felt like they're I felt like they kind of had to go with the, uh, like, especially if they were going to give him the Infinity Gauntlet, I felt like they kind of had to go with the MBCI model for Thanos. Oh, um, that's fine, but just um, Dark Side uh, is the main, like, and, black sheep. True. Um, but, I mean, they made it work, so... Yeah, they made it work, so that's not... That's um, so good. So, at that point, it's like, I I should stop talking about what which models they should pick, because they've made that... They've made models from... They've made models from MK versus DC work. Um, I guess. Um, actually, they made it work twice because they used the same model for Superman. Um, oh yeah. Um. <laughs> whatever. Um. I don't know. Um, I guess just that's like that. I don't know. I guess that that was in season one, so it had a bit more I know, of an but excuse. Still, but I know, yeah. but still. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um. All right. Um. Next up, and this is oh, we're we're at the home stretch. Um, hey, uh, the, I, I just, just realized this means yes. We just went through a. We, did you just realize that? Oh. I mean, uh, kinda. Okay. <laughs> um, we had a three-way tie for number two. Now we have a two-way tie for number one. Um, yeah. Starting off, um, again because I'm going in order of release. <laughs> I walk the path of the true warrior. Yay. Final, the final um, episode animated by Torian, actually. So that's well, until he came back. <laughs> well, until he came back, but like the solo, the, the last solo okay, fight. Okay, Well, yeah, the you last, know what I mean. The last fight he worked on before going over to Genlock, which, by the way, go watch Genlock, it's good. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Um... Um, it's only eight episodes long, and each episode is about as long as a standard Ruby episode. So there you go. Um, there you um, go. And it's coming back for season two, I think. Um, uh, anyways, um, uh, I'm actually surprised this one got as high as it did. Um, yeah. Well, well, where'd you put it? Out of curiosity. Um, I put it number five, but um, I put it at three. Yeah, both this and the next one got eight points. Um, um, so yeah, no, none, none of our number one. Uh, well, tech, uh, anyways. Um, <laughs> we'll get to that. Um, um, uh, actually, on that note, actually, <laughs> I want to, I want to talk about how I, how, what it looks like here for, for the flip in, in notes. Um, we have two-way tech for number one, three-way tech for three, so one, ne the next entry in Reaver to Jane. Two, Thanos vs. Darkseid, Ultron vs. Sigma, Optimus vs. Gundam. Three, uh, there it goes. So basically, this, this list turned out to be a top 12. Um, Oops. Yeah, whatever. So that's why it was so confusing to me. Um, Fair enough. Um, but now it's a lot more straightforward because 
obviously. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, but all right, Reed versus Jay. Um, uh, I'm more surprised on your end. I'm, you put this at number three. I was expecting you to put it a lot lower. Um, uh, yeah. I'll admit, I was a bit... Uh, honestly, I was a bit bitter when it first came out. Mainly because I was expecting Jin to win, which, uh, nope. <laughs> Which I'm still admittedly a little iffy on the result, but whatever. Um, I don't really think about them anymore. Um, eh, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I just like once the yeah. once the fight's out, I stop caring. Yeah, I don't know. It just it stuck with me for a while after it came out. So yeah, I'll admit I was a little uh, uh, weirded out about it too. Uh, yeah. Um, but either way, um, yeah. but I still loved the fight, so I. Yeah, the fight. Uh, so I still was, put it high. I still put it relatively high. Yeah, I did really like the fight. So, though, so, so the fight uh, and the track. Yeah. Oh only, yeah, on the track. The track. I love this track. <laughs> yeah. Only real thing that bothered me about the animation itself was that they didn't use voice actors. They used voice clips. Because yeah, I was kind of. Uh, I'm, at least, I'm at least surprised. I'm at least happy they went with English clips. Um, yeah. Um. I will admit I would have preferred uh, voice actors too, but um, but if, if I was going to uh, either English clips, Japanese clips, or no clips, um, I'm, I'm happy they went with the direction they did. Um, yeah. The only thing that kind of sucks is that um, in Tekken Blood Vengeance, uh, uh, Jane is voiced by Patrick, but whatever. Yeah. Um, 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 well, honestly, if they were going to go with voice actors, they were going to go with the same general voice they went with anyway, so whatever. Um, yeah. Um, the thing that bothered me was, uh, and, this didn't, and, uh, and I got used to it over time, and nowadays it doesn't bug me at all, um, was the Ryu model. Um, yeah. Yeah. Because um, it looks so it looks so disproportionate compared to Jin. Um, yeah, but granted, that's, that's But granted, that's just Street Fighter for you. Um, yeah. Everyone has big hands and big feet, um, <laughs> and tiny heads. Um, Especially in four, jeez. <laughs> yeah, well, this was a five model. Um, oh, it was? Uh, well, base Ryu was Street Fighter Five. Um, uh, oh, okay. Evil Evil Ryu was uh, Street Fighter Four. Um, right. But even still, but even still, his head—it's tiny. It's distracting. Um, yeah, I can see that. Like he has this tiny head, massive chest, and massive arms, and. Monkey hands and feet. <laughs> it's distracting to me, especially when put up against Jin. Um, now, granted, yeah. the, the the art style they went with the fight uh, does help that a little bit. Um, yeah. Um, although one thing that distract that that still distracts me, and I can't I can't uh, unnotice it after I can't unsee it after noticing it. Um, uh, near the end. Um, uh, when uh, when Jin is uh, when, when Ryu is going into the power of nothingness uh, mode and he's looking up, don't look at his neck. Um, uh, there's 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 holes in his neck. Um, um, and they look like they look like Ryu's had his neck stitched up. Um, it's really it's very distracting. Like now that I've noticed it, I can't unsee it. Um, uh, hopefully, I never noticed it. Yeah, and especially since like, especially since the holes in his neck are actually are actually stupidly huge. Um, yeah. Well, I mean they're small; they're on his neck, and I didn't notice them at first, but um, but still, it's, that's distracting. Um, yeah. Um, also, I think the um, the overall pacing I felt was fine, but near the end I was like, wait, he didn't go into like, where you didn't go to the tower or nothing yet. Oh, yeah. No. Um, uh, I mean, granted, I was rooting for Ryu. I prefer Ryu, so I'm happy he won. But um, um, although I do, although I, Jin is cool too. Um, yes. Um, uh, I think even Tekken fans will admit that generally uh, Ryu is actually is actually the more interesting character. Um, I think they just yeah. prefer Jin out of because they prefer Tekken over Street Fighter. Um, yeah. Um, which yeah. makes sense, but. Um, uh, but still, um, I don't think anyone actually thinks that Jin is a more interesting character than Ryu. Um, Jin is actually, like, 
in terms of personality and like development and whatnot, Jin's actually kind of a boring character. Um, but that's not a bad thing um, because I could say the same thing about Optimus Prime, and he's my favorite character ever. So, um, so there you go. Um, 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 also, hi Ruby. Um, yeah. It went yeah. into the spring. Ma- it went into the spring man involved. That's funny to me. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, I would. I understand why they went there. It's just okay. Yeah. That's, that's a bit well, random. But yeah. Like, I was like, I'm like, okay, that's cool. And I mean, I, I mean, I was happy to see the spring made involved. Um, um, because it's I like that set piece a lot. Um. Yeah. Um, but I was like, well, that's random. <laughs> Why is the spring man involved under a dojo? Um, <laughs> um, yeah, but maybe it was just there before Ruby. There you go. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, they uh, they, ha- they must have had to tear the the dungeon the the dojo. I almost said the dungeon. Um, the <laughs> dojo down because Ryu and Jin tore it up. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then they put Haven Academy there. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> had canon accepted. Speaking of which, um, oh, yeah. the uh, Chad said in the episode commentary that he wanted to throw in as a joke. They wanted to throw in uh, Yang walking in and being like, nope, screw this. <laughs> Just leaves. <laughs> um, that would have been funny. But that would have been funny. But that also would have messed up Ruby continuity, so I don't care. Um, True. Um, yeah, whatever. Um, um, I saw some people say that it was distracting because they, uh, they think they... Uh, Basically recreated the Raven versus Cinder fight one to one, but they didn't. So I don't get where they're getting this from. I mean, I get, it, I get it. There, I get it. There's lasers and they're fighting on falling stalactites, but yeah, that's about it. Um, <laughs> um, like compare the two fights, they're not that similar. Um, yeah. Um. Uh, I don't know. Uh, also, it was nice seeing uh, Evil Reavers Devil Jin. I know, I get that. Uh, I get that, that was that had to happen. Otherwise, there'd be no point in doing this fight. But uh, yeah. Um, but still, it was nice. Yeah. But still, it was nice. Um, yeah. Uh, and the music definitely helped out with that. Because um, mm-hmm. it sounds like, especially around that part, it sounds very demonic. Um, yeah. Um, which definitely. is nice. Um, mm-hmm. um, so yeah. Um, also the. As a, as an adequate martial arts fan, um, the choreography in this fight is something I can get a kick out of. Um, because mm-hmm. um, it is it is very well choreographed. I like it. Um, yeah. Especially um, especially the first half. The second half gets a little wonky, but uh, but the first half especially, like I love the the way they're fighting. Um. Um, I don't know. I just call, I like seeing standard punches and kicks over, uh, you know, laser laser blasts sometimes. Yeah. Um, especially with especially with these two. Um, mm-hmm. um, but anyways. Um, all right. Last one. What? Last uh, num number one point two. Yeah. <laughs> or one point one. I don't know. It's still it's tied for number one. Um, yeah. Um, and I know you've been looking forward to this. Um, oh boy! Oh shoot! Oh, mamma mia! Yeah! Yeah! Ah! The wiener. Yay! <laughs> uh, yay! I yay. think we, I think we both needed a reason to talk about this one. Um, oh yeah! Oh yeah! Especially since it's the 100th episode. Yeah. So, um. There, there you go. Um. But speaking of which, that reminds me, we're gonna get episode 125 this season. Oh yeah, we are. Well, ho- here's hoping they make it a relatively grand episode. Um, Hopefully, we'll see. Because they have four episodes. I mean, technically three, because I don't know if people really count Go Through Superman two. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Um, Whatever, doesn't matter. Um, we're gonna talk about this fight. Uh, yes. Well, um, first of all, where did you put it on your list? Because I put it at number one. 
so. Yes, you did. Um, uh, well, it got it got nine points. I'm assuming I put a number. Oh, I put a number seven. Oh, it got eight points. My bad. Um, oh, okay. Um, I, I was stuck on nine because uh, because of the three-way tie. Um, Fair enough. Um, but anyways, yeah. So, yeah, I had this number Fair seven. Enough. Yeah, and I will admit, the, the main reason I put this at number one is kind of biased, but you know, because you know. Mario and Sonic, well, mainly Mario. Mario means a lot to me as my childhood. It was my childhood series, because of course it is. <laughs> yeah, I actually didn't play Sonic so much later in the. That's in the very life. interesting. Um, yes. <laughs> yeah. I've, I think we I all believe, know why. Yeah, I, believe it or not, I'm actually a bigger fan of Mario than Sonic. The only reason I have Sonic as a profile pick is because I, I don't know, he was, he was cool. Like, I, I, I like Sonic a lot, it's just, I prefer Mario a lot more. See, that's Which very I, interesting because I'm the exact opposite. I, I prefer <laughs> Sonic by a lot. Um, um, I don't know, like, I don't have anything against Mario, but, um, um, I don't know, I always found more, I always found myself having more fun playing Sonic. Um, yeah, fair enough. Um, and even when Sonic games were bad, like Sonic 06, they were still fun to play because they were just broken. Um, yeah. um, except for Sonic Boom. That game is a cesspool of garbage. Um, uh, but anyways, um, uh, like, Mario's always had that uh, syndrome of like, yeah, it's uh, it, they're, they're all good games, but for the most part, they're kind of the same. Uh, eh, kind of. But. Kind of, um, especially uh, the new Super Mario Bros. series. Once you play one, you once you play one of those games, you play them all. Um, yeah, that one I definitely agree with. But, um, but anyways, I, don't know. I still um, love them all. So. Um, I also have a Sonic Amigo sitting right next to me. So. <laughs> um, <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah, I have Mario and Sonic. So hot. No. Um, I actually had a bunch of Amigos. I sold them because I didn't have. I didn't know what because. Uh, I had sold my Wii U. I didn't know what to yeah. do with them. Um, okay. they're, they're, they work on Switch, so. I know, but I didn't have the Switch at the time. Uh, um, I oh well. I do now. I might pick up. Uh, I might pick up some of the newer ones since they, just because. Like I might pick up Ken. Ken looks cool. Um, Fair enough. Um, and because I like Ken a lot. Um, <laughs> anyways. Um, yeah. Um. Okay, how to make sure that you're going to complete fan service. Um, uh, basically, make this fight. Um, yes, because it is... Oh, my goodness. It's so good. It, there's so many fan service moments for both the series. It's, ah, I can't say the phrases enough. Okay. I will so. say, Lion Ferret was a weird choice. Um, eh, kind of. Um, eh. I'm, I'm, it's... I, I I do like this animation a lot, but um, but I don't know. It, it wouldn't have been my first choice. Um, yeah, fair enough. Uh, especially since um, both, the, especially Sonic, are um, are known for having phenomenal 3D animations. Um, yeah. Like that's like that's that's uh, Sonic Team's whole deal is that even when they make a game that doesn't play so well, they make sure that it looks good and sounds good. Um, yeah. Speaking of fair sounding enough. good. Uh, everything audio related is so good. <laughs> the yeah. sound of the sound effects, the music, the voice acting, it's uh, all oh, I love it. It's, yeah. Um, it's all just very good. It's um, oh. Okay. Can I take the time to talk to Gush over the soundtrack for this for this one? I'm good. Can I do it with you? Sure. Um Because oh my goodness, Retro Rivals is amazing. Yeah. Like, like mm -hmm. it's it just starts off and you hear Green Hill and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm hooked. I'm hooked. Yeah. Keep, keeping going. Um, yeah. Like the, the the opening bit was just kind of basic. It's no, it's nothing. Like it's still good, but it's not like yeah. it's not something that sticks out to you. And then Green Hill kicks in. And I'm like, okay, I'm in. I'm in. Let's do it. And it just keeps going. We get like the we get the Mario invincibility theme, and then we get the Sonic drowning theme, which is weird because Sonic does not drown at all in this fight. Um, yeah. Um, Oh, yeah, it's actually okay. funny because when the soundtrack came out, um, the tinfoil theory was that Sonic was gonna win. Um, yeah. Um, because then we had, because we had the Starman theme, and then we had the drowning theme, and then we had a very triumphant theme. So everyone thought that uh, yeah, um, just repeat the first one, basically. 
Yeah, uh, basically. basically. Except uh, Sonic. That's basically how it, well, kind of. The Starman thing was switching around, but whatever. Yeah. Um, um, so that was, but it was interesting. I, but when I saw, but I, as the Sonic fan, I was hoping that was going to be the case. Um, mm. um, and then, uh, and then I saw the fight, and then Sonic not only turns into hyper, not only turns into Super Sonic, he turns into Hyper Sonic. Why are they yeah. getting? Wait, hold. And I'm just like, wait, hold. Okay, first off, I didn't know that was Hyper Sonic at first, because I, as I actually watched the the fight before I watched the analysis. Um, um, I know, I know, stupid decision. Um, but it seemed like the only option I had at the time. Um, yeah, like if I was going to watch the fight when it came out. Um, um, but, uh, um, but I saw that, uh, um, uh, I saw that he went, because I thought he went supersonic, um, I didn't know they were giving, giving him hypersonic, um, yeah. um, I was like, okay, so supersonic looks a little, a little weird, but, but then I was like, but then I remember the tinfoil thing, I was like, oh, wait, uh. Sonic, Sonic's not using this later, oh, no, yeah, fuck. um, and then, 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 yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh, that left me. I was depressed after that. Um, yeah. uh, especially with how it was presented. Like you don't just, you don't just have Sonic explode. You have it, ex you have him explode, and then have his foot just land in Mario's uh, hand. Yeah. I was like, why? <laughs> I mean, granted, you could argue. Uh, granted, that sounds kind of hypocritical because. I said before I want to make sure that the, the losers are dead before yeah. the chaos queen shows up. But then, but I don't know. This one felt a little too. I felt like this one was a little too much. But yeah. Maybe that's just me. Um. Um. Although back on the audio, um, uh, the voice acting is holy crap. Um, it's some of the best voice acting of the season. Um. Um, especially um. Especially Sonic. Mario sounds a little off sometimes. Um, yeah, a little bit, but it sounded fine. Um, yeah, um, it's actually, it's funnily enough, it's the same voice actor, but it's not raw. Um, yeah. Again, mood sweat. Yeah. <laughs> Again, mood with <sweat. laughs> Um Actually, it's funny because I was very skeptical going into this fight, because <laughs> um, uh, Blind Ferret had kind of lost me after uh, Smokey McGruff. Um, yeah. Uh, like, uh, like I heard, like they didn't, they didn't announce this fight at RTX, but they announced that Blind Ferret was animating it. I was like, oh, that's not good. Um, <laughs> and then I saw it was Mario versus Sonic, and I was like, oh no. <laughs> and then I saw like Sephiroth was playing Mario, and I was like, oh no. <laughs> they just kept, they kept uh, getting me uninterested in this fight, which is not what you should do for a Mario versus Sonic, um, and b um, the 100th episode. Also, yeah. they post, also when they posted the initial thumbnail, I was I was lost. I was, yeah. That, that thumbnail was so bad. Um, <laughs> um, um, but this this new one, this uh, this the current one is is, is good. Um, yeah, that's really um, good. Um, uh, but anyways, um, but no, this is the first time we get to hear Nicholas Angel Lily voice a character. And yeah, holy crap, like, what a way to start. Um, <laughs> it sounded like spot on as yeah. Sonic, though. Like, I saw the preview and Sonic started talking. I was like, oh, that's perfect. <laughs> um, like, Mario still sounded a little off, but he sounded fine. Um, yeah. Um, but then I saw, but then I heard Sonic. I was like, oh, that sounds exactly like Roger Craig Smith. That's <sighs> so good. Um, yeah. Uh, and honestly, um, Later on, he sounds he kind of uh, he kind of mixes in a little bit of uh, uh, Jason Griffith's Sonic from Sonic X. Yeah. Um, like it doesn't sound spot like when he's when he's voicing dialogue, it sounds like Roger Craig Smith. Um, but when he's like doing like uh, battle grunts and whatever, it sounds like yeah. four kids Sonic. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, which is which is fine, but um, uh, it works. Um, especially, um, especially near the end, um, like when they're, when they're free falling, um, mm -hmm. it, uh, I was like, okay, it doesn't really sound like Roger Craig Smith anymore, what's going on? Um, um, but it still sounded fine. Um, yeah. Um, but man, for playing Sephiroth, um, mm -hmm. Cameron Nakad, uh, really killed it in Mario. Um, yeah. 
Um, and the sound effects, I love them. They are much, they are a massive improvement over the Looney Tunes sound effects from before. Um, um, like it's, Chad even said like this is like an audio love letter to both franchises, and I'm like, uh, yeah, that's basically that's that's a good way to describe yeah. it. I wish they used more of their abilities, but granted, the fights like, but granted, I guess they couldn't keep the fight any longer than three minutes. Yeah. Uh, but Sonic used like like they made a pretty big deal about the wisps, and then he used one wisp. Um, mm -hmm. um, although I will say um, I did like Mario using a bunch of double cherries. That was yeah, creative. That was very creative. Um, they they said in the in the cast like uh, like because one of the questions was uh, why did Mario use Cappy? Um, yeah. Um, uh, which I will admit was a little weird at first, but granted, Cappy would have meant nothing. So because mm -hmm. Sonic has resisted mind control before. Um, and and even then, like what's because, um, like say if Mario say Mario possesses uh, Sonic with Cappy and then forces Sonic to kill himself, that's yeah. basically killing Mario too. Um, yeah. So, uh, but they even said like they were initially going to have Cappy in the fight, but um, um, but it was either that or the double cherries, and then thought the double cherries was better, and I agree with it. Um, yeah. Fair enough. Um, like if we were gonna have uh. Um. Uh, if we were gonna have Cappy in the f in the fight and not have that, then yeah. Um. <laughs> um, um. Also, Sonic only used like one of his shields. That was a little distract. That was that was weird. Um, Sonic yeah. used a lot less of his abilities than he did before. Um, yeah. um like that's yeah. the one. Th that's one thing I'll give. Uh, the original Mario vs. Sonic over this is that they put a lot more emphasis on the power-ups. Yeah. Um, like, Sonic used what? He used the Fire Wisp, he used the Bubble Shield, and he used Hypersonic. Speaking of yeah. which, why are they, why did they give him Hypersonic? Uh, that seems yeah. very... I, I mean, it's, it's, it's not a huge thing to, to, get, to complain about, but... Um, I don't know. Um, but, I don't know. That seemed kind of... That's That seems... Uh, it seemed weird to me. Um, yeah. Um, it also was just weird that those, those were the only abilities Sonic used, like the only power-ups he used. Um, meanwhile, Mario's got uh, uh, he used the cat suit, he, which, by the way, the cat suit looks really dumb. Um, yeah. Um, it's 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 not it's not a complaint. It's just. Well, yeah. But. Um, so he um, used the double cherry, um, um, which a uh, double cherry plus cat suit was. Was a, was a nice touch. Um, uh, he used Invincibility, he used Starman, he used uh, the Winged Cap, um, uh, Winged Cap over Cape Feather. Why? Okay. Um, okay. Uh, whatever. Um, I just think the Winged Cap looks stupid. <laughs> <laughs> um, right now. Whatever. Um, and then, and then, yeah. Um, uh, I mean, it beats uh, it beats the uh, it beats the uh, arguments made in the original Mario vs Sonic. Like Mario can deal with Super Sonic and it can't deal with Base Sonic. What? Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, although uh, that makes sense. Um, although, um, in fairness, the recap does doesn't really talk about Super Sonic at all. Um, yeah. Um, like they mentioned that Mario has power ups to deal with it, and that's fine enough, I guess. But. Um, but I don't know. I feel like they could have put more of an emphasis on Mario being able to overpower Super Sonic. Yeah. Um, but whatever. Oh, also, this is the first. Speaking of which, this is also the first time we see Wizard Boomstick. Yeah, and um, that's cool. Honestly, I think like the the segments here are the best ones in the season. Then again, that's yeah. not really that's not really much competition, but still. No. Um. No, but I agree. Um, I think these should be used specifically for like jokes. Because recently yeah. they've been using them for full-on analysis segments. Yeah. Um. But I don't know. I mean, it's nice to see them. It's not. It's like. It's not like they're disembodied voices anymore. Um, yeah. Which is nice. Um, so. Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, uh, have you seen uh, 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 that the Death Metal Twitter posted the new looks? Um. Oh yeah, I did. Um, I think. Uh, Boomstick looks fine. Ben, uh, uh, Wiz looks a little weird, but I can get, I can get over it. Um, oh yeah. Um, but, uh, but I saw that posted in the Death Metal cast server and I was like, well, that's random. Why are we posting? Because it, it was, it was more so a thing of just them promoting, uh, RTX. Yeah. Um, 
Um, I was like, uh, and I was like, okay, well, that's random. Why are we posting? I was, and I looked closer, and I was like, oh, yeah. that's the new looks for them. Um, um, I don't know. I, I think they look fine. Um, I saw a lot of people complaining about Liz's hair. I don't really have a problem with it. Um, yeah, whatever. Um, I do kind of have a problem with his face, though. It's, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's a little odd to complain about, but whatever. Um, yeah, a little bit, but whatever. Um, and I saw some people say that uh, they didn't change the actual designs at all. I'm like, that was never the plan. <laughs> yeah. They never said they were going to change the designs. They were just going to change how they look. Um, yeah. Because it was new animators, but whatever. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Uh, that's random to complain about. Um, just a little bit. Um, oh, and even, uh, also, actually, um, that RTX promotion actually had Ringmaster on there. Oh, um, yeah. Do you think Ringmaster's going to get new animations, too? Maybe. I don't know. They might just freshen up the old ones, but... Who knows? Um, I guess one day we'll talk about DBX again, but yeah, not now. Um, yeah. I mean, this podcast has been going on for two hours, so yeah. Actually, I want to bring up uh, real quick about Mario vs Sonic. Can I just uh, so like as a little closure, I guess. So like, can I just say like this is probably my new favorite death battle. Honestly, really? Like, yeah, like. I might like I don't know I'm, I'm better explaining things but it's just as a fan of both and as like just all the animation the analysis stories like I enjoyed all of it basically it's like I don't know just this one sticks with me I guess that's hmm. my it's uh, that probably I didn't probably explain it the best but no that's fine uh... Yeah, I don't know, just this one, like, really sticks out to me. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, well, which is why I, I personally love it, adore it, as my favorite see, episode. See, that's so. funny, because my number one is I'm kind of the same way. Um, <laughs> yeah, this one just makes a lot of new favorites, apparently. Yeah. Um, although, to be fair, but, although, to be fair, uh, uh, next season's going to have a little bit of... going to have quite a bit of gushing, too. Um, yeah. Um, and actually, it holds another competitor for best episode of the sh- of the show. Um, yeah, we'll talk about that later. Um, yes. Um, but on that note, um, I I think we're good. Um, yeah. Went on a little bit longer than I expected. Uh, apologies if I didn't like get that much talking in. It's just I didn't know what to say about most it. So. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah. But yeah. Um, I- I felt like I got like uh, like my thoughts out well enough, so there you go. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that was that's basically our new catch. This is basically our catch up for season five. Yep. Um. um overall, this is I, overall I could be, I think I could say with full confidence this is my this is my favorite season. Yeah. Um, <laughs> not yeah. just because it houses some of the best episodes, but uh, like, not just because it houses possibly the, my favorite episode, but just. It yeah. just hit a lot of the, the marks it needed to. Um, um, I feel like I feel like everyone got. I feel like a lot of people got a lot of their most wanted out of this. Yeah, um, which is good. Yeah, which also makes sense because this is supposed to be the season of highly requested episodes, but. Mm-hmm. Um, but still, um, very much appreciated. Very much appreciated. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, we uh, have that, and then. Uh, we'll talk about season six later. Um, Yay! <coughs> uh, okay. Um, so that should be good. That should be good. Um, so okay. Um, with that, I think we're good. Uh, yes, we are. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed, um, and we'll see you all next time. Later. <laughs>